Pamela from Los Angeles, California. KKLA is the station that you listen to, and uh, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for taking my call. You are welcome. What's going on? Well, I'll start with the question. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like I need to tell my husband I'm no longer physically attracted. I haven't. He suspects that, but I've never really been honest about it. And You're I not physically attracted to him. How long have you not been physically attracted to him? Uh, well, we've been married 18 years, and it's probably been had trouble for the last at least 10 years 10 years out of 18 okay now what what um, all of a sudden what's making you think okay I, I need to tell him this if it's been going on for 10 years is something happened or are you feeling differently what's going on well just to provide a, a brief background um, my personality is I would say an avoider and I think he thinks he is too but I think he might be more like a vacillator mm -hmm. Our marital problems, from my perspective, revolved around primarily three things. One is he had some job problems for a long time, so his financial con contribution to the household was an issue for me, making me feel like I was carrying okay. the weight. He had anger and sarcasm, and we had poor conflict resolution skills. Okay. We've been seeing a counselor for over two and a half years, a very good counselor, and I think we've worked through most of those issues. And so his issue all along has been more sex and... Um, We've committed to a date night twice a week uh, for the last three years. My residual issue is emotional connection. Mm -hmm. and um, You don't feel connected to him at all? Well, I wouldn't say not at all. It's not um, completely absent, but it's, it's certainly not sufficient. But you don't trust him with your emotional self? No, it's not that I don't trust him. I think that as I said, I'm, I'm not necessarily even, I'm an avoider. I want it, but I'm not necessarily that good at it myself. Pamela, connect the dots for us. Are you saying that the emotional conflict is keeping you from being sexually attracted to him, or are you making another connection? I used to think that that was, but now I'm not even so sure. I'm wondering okay. even if we were emotionally connected, maybe I've just lost the physical. All right. Well, we'll give you some, how old are you, by the way? Uh, 47. 47. All right. We'll give you some help right after this. We are back. Steve Arterburn here with Dr. John Townsend, Dr. Jill Hubbard, and your phone calls. We're talking with Pamela, and uh, Pamela has something that is probably one of the most common things that we deal with around here when people lose physical attraction. I think sooner or later it's, it's going to happen. Some, right after you eat the wedding cake, it's an instant <laughs> drop in desire because, you know, the best foot's forward and then that other foot can be awfully ugly. Or you can just kind of drift into it. John, Jill, what do you think uh, is well, the hope for her? Pamela, um, were you attracted to your husband when you walked down the aisle? Um, yes, but I would say on this, it was never okay. fireworks. Okay. I had low self-esteem. My background prior to meeting him was... Low self-esteem with men, relied on my looks, really, and he was someone that treated me well, was smart. Okay, so it was with. more about hi him liking you yeah, versus how you felt. So you didn't really know yourself as well. I totally. Okay. Totally. Well, one of the things, I think, with attraction, though, is that it comes and goes. And is as much as you are saying, I don't know if I can ever get it back, 10 years is a long time to feel disconnected and kind of beaten down in a relationship. And so it, it can feel like that chasm is too wide to cross. But I, you know, I hear a lot of things in what you listed where y you've lost respect for your husband. And even though you said you do trust him, because you tend to be avoidant, I think it really needs to be very safe and, and someone who will invite you and really want to know you. And when your husband doesn't go after you in that way, you know, I, I think it's easy to build a case of, well, it, he just doesn't do it for me. Okay. Does that ring true at all yes, for you? Yes, it does, especially the respect part. Yeah, yeah. I mean, respect is really key. And that emotional piece for us women, I mean, we are attracted in our minds. I mean, not that we don't like things visually. Are but, you trying but to, like, distinguish yourself from the other gender here, Jill? Uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say it's not completely We're kind of wired differently, yeah. Um, she's, she's making some really good points, Pamela, and I, I want to kind of change your thinking about something. You've sort of given up hope that you'll ever be attracted to him, right? Right. When we try to connect the dots, the did, dots didn't work. Um, fireworks are, are always the cart, and character and connection are always the horse. And 
I have seen clinically many, many, many people who said there's just nothing here. And mm-hmm. once that other person developed in their character and became more open and honest and own, uh, had own things and they got their own passion and they had a deeper connection that was really intimate, all of a sudden they come in the office and they go, uh, something really happened last night. It was sort of interesting mm-hmm. because sexual chemistry and fireworks are not a matter of the plumbing <laughs> or not a matter of like, you know, how much – you or like light up candles in the bathtub that's all great stuff but the real issue is who's this person and if mm-hmm. you if you can work with him so that he's he's growing as a person and able to connect with you at deep levels it just begins to happen because it's the cart see if i were your marriage counselor i would have you uh, much less discussing how to talk to each other than how do we get this heart connection here how do we get together on the same team? Because how do we get vulnerable? He is irritating the heck out of you because he doesn't get it yet. Even with the counseling, he doesn't get it. He doesn't know how to connect with you and win your heart. And I think, you know, um, well, they're and very. I don't know how to connect with him either. Yeah. Well, that, mm-hmm. like Steve said, though, Pamela, this is not we'll have two, two date nights a week because you can sit no, there and look no, at each no. other for three hours and be miserable. May- maybe the most irritating <laughs> nights of the week are the date nights. Yeah, I would sit in the <laughs> office with your counselor and say, I am not vulnerable at the deepest yeah. level with Sam, and Sam is not with me, and counselor, bring us there. That's why they have their 10,000 hours of training. And in that office, get some Kleenexes <laughs> and start talking about how alone you feel and how much you need somebody that cares about you and how you felt all by yourself, and I bet you Sam feels the same way. That's and we when have far- done, I mean, two and a half years, you can imagine, I mean, of counseling. We yeah. have done those kind of conversations uh, and those sessions. Does, oh, but okay, I think so, that we've so Pamela, improved a but, lot, Pamela, but it's just not there. Yeah. But have you done those conversations from your head? Because right. you're an avoider, so it's easy to go intellectual. Right, probably. Yeah. Okay. You can get a lot and, of technique and, down. That's kind of what it sounds like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Miss the so, whole heart. you know, yeah, when you're just operating from your head, you're, you're, not, you're not doing it. Okay, so what about a new life weekend for you two? Well, well, you well, so about should I be honest, though, with him about this physical part? I, that was my original question, so I feel like that's one thing I've held back from him. I sort of said, well, I have a low libido and that we have these other issues. And you know. I, would, I would say that your overall attractiveness to him it is is down it's not there because of the emotional disconnect but she's asking should she tell him yeah yeah i would 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 tell tell him him. i would tell him that that that's what that's what we're talking about is you're editing a lot you know in proverbs chapter 20 it says that a person's heart are like deep waters and a person of understanding draws them out your deep waters you're kind of skating around and probably he is too but with a counselor there to kind of say hey this is a landmine here and be careful here i mean let them be careful but you really have to connect at a really deep level with this man. Yeah. And sometimes, Pamela, it sounds like this is in the way for you. Sometimes we need to say the worst thing in maybe the most loving way possible in order to get past it and actually have room for those loving feelings to come in. Otherwise, you're hyper-focused on that one thing. But I don't think this is about physical attraction. So well, and it, I would just say, it's, and it's especially not about a physical cure, that, that there's right. nothing he can do, yeah. be, look, that's going to make you more physically a, attracted to him. But when he starts connecting with your heart, when you guys get at that heart level, and I hate to say this, but, you know, there just might be another counselor that might take you through some different things, or you come to a New Life weekend. I mean, we've been reading you these stories of people, their marriages were over, and uh, they're now back uh, on the same team. That could be a big help to you. Yeah, Anything so else you want to add? Yeah, the only other thing is, is y- I know you don't have hope for your sexual relationship, but have hope that you can have hope. Yeah. In other words, yeah. do the right things here and see what happens. You don't know yet because you really haven't gone as vulnerable as you could, but guys can be with each other. So hope for hope. But no hope is a lie. Right. Yep. Mm-hmm. 